Welcome to Ain't Scared Garage, uh, part two of nothing but changing some exhaust studs. Yeah, this has exploded into something much larger. Oh, well. Stand by. Not sure how all this is going to work out, but this job has gotten way too long. Got there ratchet. I normally do things with hand tools, but you know what? I need this done. I really, this is not a job I cherish. Nope. I'm not crazy about fixing things. I'd rather customize, make things nice. You don't have one of these little magnetic pans. I got a big one somewhere, but I'm not sure where it is right now. To put your bolts in, you, you're crazy. You gotta have one. They're uh, makes matters so much easier. All right. Okay, at this point, it may not look so bad, but what I have is a block on the ground so that I can get up to the truck and lean on in. I stepped up on the block, I leaned into the truck, and the daggone block slipped out from under my feet. And I went down with all my weight right on my side. Let me tell you something, that hurt like you wouldn't believe. It is now a week and a half later and I'm just now editing this damn thing and I still hurt. I worked through this whole thing in pain. Once, like that. Once I don't want to take that damn alternator off again, it has to come off. Got almost everything out of the way now. I got one more manifold to take off. And that would be this one right here. And you got to take this whole bracket off just to get that sucker off and I'd leave it on but you got to take it off in order to get the uh, um, in order to get in order to get the manifold gasket back on it so if you see down here this is our other project that we have to do while it's off those are rubber freeze plugs I'll show you how they work in a minute if you see that one that was leaking so they're all coming out of here. We're going to put real freeze plugs in. This is what you have for real freeze plugs, okay? They're on the bag here. Well, let me open it up, okay? So this here goes in the hole where that rubber freeze plug is. Um, there's other ones that come with it, but I bought the brass ones. You can get the steel ones with the same ones that come from the factory. But 
the brass ones are better because uh, they'll do the same job and you don't have to worry about them ever rotten. Now, why this has rubber freeze plugs in it, I don't know. Um, they're easier to install, but they're not a good idea. And so we'll go through the whole thing, how to get rid of them and put the right ones in. First thing I gotta do is take the belt loose. It's real easy, just put a, you can use a regular ratchet, but if you use this, it makes it easier. And all we're gonna do is pull this, that's the wrong way, up like this here, and then that'll take it, it, the tension off the belt. We can let the belt loose like that, and let her back. There we go, and now the belt's off. Now get down in here, turn this fan, one spot about here where there's a lot of room to, that you can work. Let's see, find the right size bolts for these two. And I gotta take that sucker out. I might be able to get away with not taking that out. All right. Nine sixteenths down there, half inch up top. Hopefully I can get this with this. This bolt's about a million miles long. Must drive you crazy. And at no point does it become easy to get out. You have to pretty much wrench the whole thing out. Eh, wait a minute. I might be able to do something with this. I put anti-seize on it. Sure did. tightened up on me dang it I'll let it come all the way <clears throat> still wants to fight me every now and then This thing's a million miles long. I don't know why, but I'll tell you what, it's a whole lot easier taking it out this time than the first, second, and third time I took it out. Hmm. Huh. Maybe i put a little anti-season on here, it might make it easier next time. God knows I hope I don't have to take this stupid alternator out of here again. I hate to have to take it out now. Put you here, half inch. But before I get that, let me take a look at something. I'm actually going to pull these, pull the cables off it. <laughs> and uh, these bolts were half inch and nine sixteenths. The bolts that hold the cables on, metric. Oh, yeah. And now this little teeny bolt here, which is a 10, what you want to do is you need to be careful with that one when you go to tighten it down because you don't want to tighten it down too much you could damage the alternator this is just a plug um comes out like that this is another plug Ow. This, that one's a little difficult carefully you want to come down here i got so many things in the way i'll come down here and i'm going to gently pull on this wire while I get the screwdriver in this end here to help that clip unplug just like that and be careful with it a 
this. Get this wiring harness out of the way here. I think I got them all. Pull that off there. We'll get off there. You. All right. This is the wiring harness that I built for this. This is all brand new. So I'm just gonna put it over here, so it's out of the way. I don't want anything getting damaged on it all in there. I've had all I want of this alternator. I must tell you. Not sure what bolts onto that one. Not at all. Just half. This is not terrible. Another alternator bolt. Get that out of there completely. Bring it out of the way. Anything happened to that damn alternator? <sighs> I took you long for that alternator ride. <laughs> I'm kind of at it with alternators. All right, I got two bolts here and here. Here and here. And I'm get some spray on them. Hoping they're not going to be too much trouble. There. Now, the question is, what do we have? Then? Like the bottom one, the 13. to cooperate. Set this aside. This one's probably a 14. Yep, that's 14. That's what I was worried about. Yep. <sighs> yep. Okay. Here we nothing. Don't let me break this. I'm gonna blame y'all if I break this. I know y'all put me up to it. Oh boy, if I get past all this junk I got in the way. There. And that does not feel like something that's twisting off. It feels like something that's moving. I think we'll be fine. Y'all are lucky. It came off. Thank you. I'm worried y'all were going to let me down on that one. Yeah, there. <laughs> now we'll see how lucky we are on this bracket. I really hoped I was the only two. Uh -huh. My guess is there's another one somewhere. Seriously? I pay. Right there. There. Hopefully that's the only one. I don't want to see another bolt down there. It's enough damn bolts. Yeah, but that's part of that bracket, alright. Okay. 
All right, what size are you? That's a 13, but it feels loose. That's a half, and it fits. So it has 14 bolts and a half inch bolt. <laughs> Drive me crazy. But you don't have to be no, there we go. Yeah. Just barely, but I should do it. Well, that dang it. Guess I've got to pull the smog pump to get to the rest of them. Freaking smog pumps. Garbage. You gotta pull the freaking. Oh my god. You have to pull the damn pulley off the smog pump in order to pull the smog pump. You gotta pull the smog pump to get to the other bolts. Need them away again. So yeah, like I said, you got to get this off, these three bolts. I found it easier to just use the air ratchet, I don't know. Because I couldn't hold on to this and I didn't realize it before I took the belt off and then the alternator, now I can't put the alternator up and belt on without putting the alternator back on, I ain't doing that. Oh, that's how. Yeah, back to it. Try to get this off of here now. Give it a squirt. Uh. Dang it. Fourteen. Maybe. There. <laughs> that fall yesterday really hurt. I can't work having to use something else to make things happen so I'm using more breaker bar than I normally would use <sighs> all right now try that again now mind you if this one breaks it probably ain't gonna get a smog pump battle on it I'll be done with it and that's what I think is going to happen is it's going to break it's going to break and then I'm going to do away with small pump altogether I didn't want to because computer but I'm not going to deal with it the bolt comes off the back what if I got this all wrong who knows The bolt comes off the back or not. And now I need to go to a short one. Can't get in there. We <sighs> too big. Five eighths.
suit. And it's really weird. I don't know why, but the bolt on the back, a nut on the back. I don't know what this is about. Unless it's just to hold whatever was on there on there, which is possible. This one doesn't seem to want to go. Let me get that map gas torch one more time and see if it does anything. Gas torch redeemed itself. I've used it on, I think, 10 bolts. It worked on one. This is going to be a bitch to get out of here, though. Super pain ass bolt. It's actually out though. <sighs> Next. completely out of my way. There. That's gone. back where they were. I know where they go. But it would appear that this 13 16 will do the job. I'll see if it'll come out. It's the last one. Come on, really? Oh, 
success. Yep. <laughs> so they were too lazy to get that one out <laughs> so we gotta knock that one out then we can take the other ones out two three four five six four five yeah that's fine at this point we got the engine all pulled down and ready to start putting things back together I still have to pull the valve cover because I got a new valve cover gasket for it. And when I went to drain the radiator, I had to drain the radiator by pulling a hose because the pet cot is completely clogged. So I took the radiator out back and I flushed it out really good, got it all nice and clean. And I came back to the truck to do the heater core because I knew the heater core would be nasty too. So I flushed the heater core and you see what's coming out of the darn thing. And then even then after I let it run clear and then back flushed it one more time it still got crap out of it so i did that a couple times and i got the heater core all nice and clean now we can finally put this thing back together well that's going to do it for this one i finally got all this stuff apart now it's a matter of fixing things and putting things together so see you next time ah, ah.